got stacks of fishing around us. It is absolutely fantastic. Obviously, we're going to get mixed reports this time of year. Some people catch fish, some don't. The ones that don't usually are what we call once a year fishermen. They only fish half a dozen times a year, maybe. Uh, so they don't understand the system. Uh, basically, what happens this time of year on most of our impoundments and even on the river, you get a situation where there's a lot of boat traffic, uh, especially on the river systems. If you fish a snag, somebody's probably fished it 10 minutes before you. So you really need to know the system. Uh, move around a fair bit, try and cover areas that other people haven't covered, and it's certainly worth the effort because there is a huge amount of fish getting caught. We'll start off at Dartmouth Dam, they say down at Lavington tells me that uh, there's quite a few fish coming out of Dart, but uh, they're down deep. Lead line, para veins, downrig is absolutely essential at the moment if you want to get good numbers of fish. Other than that, the early morning, late afternoon troll system seems to work. Um, but you need to get deep through the middle of the day because of the water temperatures have warmed up considerably. Uh, the Macquarie perch season opens on the 1st of January, uh, so that'll give you a bit of an idea. You can get up there and get stuck into some mackers, uh, but you only out of one per person. Hume Weir, some really good information from there. Uh, really pleased with it at the moment. The redfin are fired up. Now, obviously, same story, not everybody's going to catch them, but uh, some people are going to get their 50, 60, 70 for the day. Small yabbies are the answer to all your problems down there. But don't go down with a dozen yabbies, for goodness sake, that'll last you about 20 seconds. And so if you want to catch 60 or 70 uh, yellow, uh, red fin, you're going to need minimum of 100 yabbies. If you don't want to get the yabbies, get some jigs, stuff like that, you might do all right, but yabbies are the big thing at the moment. They're getting very, very good catches. So it looks real promising. Haven't heard of any yellows or anything like that. Mawala, getting some good reports from Mawala. Uh, again, not consistent for everybody, but the ones that know how to fish it this time of year are doing really well. Get up into the areas where the uh, boats aren't cruising around in big numbers and you should do quite nicely. Surface lure action isn't too bad. Uh, it's a bit of hit and miss, but it's not bad. Trolling with spinner baits, absolutely fantastic. The Murray River below the Hume Weir, some really good catches down there. Some big cod and a lot of small cod. The Bidgee, can't beat it. Absolutely amazing fishing. Perfect height, perfect colour. Lure fishing, bait fishing, it doesn't seem to matter. Uh, getting a few yellow belly on yabbies in particular, they seem to be getting some good yellows. Uh, anybody fishing with a pattern Oscar rig, you know, keeping that uh, bait off the bottom is doing really well on the yellows. If you're using the typical old method, just yeah, the running sinker rig, you'll get your cod on the bottom without too much trouble at all. Uh, most of the fish are getting caught from Wagga downstream. The odd few upstream, but seems to be a little bit quieter upstream. We've got uh, a little bit of inconsistent flows coming through at the moment. And uh, <coughs> while that's happening, uh, those cold flushes of water uh, coming through upstream will sort of cool things down a bit and, and uh, turn the fish off a little bit. Uh, but again, uh, a little bit of boat traffic up there knocks them around a bit. Blowering Dam, a lot of skiers, a lot of boats up there. Uh, getting a couple of reports. Off the bank with bait seems to be better than anything. Uh, they are getting a few fish, but it's not going crazy. Baron Jack's the one that's fired up quite nicely. Really pleased with that at the moment. It's really running hot. Getting a lot of yellow belly, quite a few red fin. Again, looking around, going up some of the arms where there's not a lot of boat traffic. You should get some really good options there. Uh, especially up around Carey's Reserve, up the back of Wade Island. A lot of yellows, a lot of red fin. And uh, Yabby seem to be a prime bait up there as well. Shrimp, if you can get hold of them. Uh, they're getting a few shrimp out of the river here, not a real lot. Baron Jack's producing the odd few. So, you know, keep putting your shrimp pots in, check them regularly, you should get a few. Uh, Wangler, fishing really well, happy with that. Uh, the main basin's been good, but because of, the, again, the boat traffic scenario, I'd probably sneak up the arms at the moment. They're starting to clear up nicely after all that rain we had, so it looks promising. Tentangra, another hot spot if you're chasing trout. Uh, getting some really good uh, reports from there. Uh, off the bank with scrub worms seems to be reasonably consistent. You can be hit and miss, but they are catching a few fish out of you, so it's certainly worth the effort. And Jindabyne's not too bad, getting a little bit of activity. All the streams, absolutely amazing, and that's the Victorian and the New South Wales streams. Getting a huge amount of fish out of those at the moment, a lot of good trout. Uh, little uh, spinners like selters, vibraxes, anything of that nature, drifting worms, hopper time started, fly fishermen are starting to get some really good results. 
as you can see, we have got stacks of fishing rounds, great for holiday makers. If you're out on the reserves, make sure you bring your rubbish home, bring a little bit extra home, clean things up, uh, and just be safe on the water, no drinking, and make sure you've got all your safety gear with you. This is the Complete Angler's Fishing Report for this week. We'll catch you next week.